Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I will discuss that how we can make search bar charts in Minitab software. This bar chart is made using five different categories: customer websites, DoDash, Grubhub, Toast, and Uber Ads. This graph is made on a survey data in which customer have replied or given their response in the form of yes or no. Initially, we have the data in the Excel. You can see it here, platform. And here you can see F is, is there a beverage section on the menu. So I copied this data from Excel and pasted this data in the mini tab. Now after that, we need some cross tabulation. I mean that I want to know that how many people in the customer website platform have answered yes and no. Likewise, likewise in the Uber Eats, Toast, etc. Now we will go to stat, then tables. Here, cross tabulation and chi square. Click on it. Then I will select that. Here I have numerous option. So I say the plate form that is represented in the column C4. I need it in the columns. So column is I have selected plate form. Now in the row I say that I want to select is there a beverage section. So now after this click OK. And we will get our cross tabulation results. It is saying that on the platform customer website, 19 of the respondent have selected no, and 104 respondent have selected yes. Now copy this data and paste it in in the mini tab data sheet. After entering search, you can see I have this data only. Now we can go to the graph. In the graph, here we will select bar chart. In the bar chart. Please click on it, and then from the down menu, values from a table. Now we have a table like this, so I will say values like a table. Now go to the two-way table and stack. Why A1, A2? It means the categories. So we have five different categories from customer website to Uber Eats. Now, after that, I will click OK. Then I will reset it. Graph variables. We want to graph. Customer behavior, DoorDash, Grubhub, Toast, Uber Eats, and click on select. Now I will select response. Response means yes or no. How many people have responded yes and no? Then click OK, and we will get over graph. You can to view only graph. Click here output only. First of all, double click on it, and now we want to remove these lines. So click on. Custom, then down menu, click on this up arrow, none, and then select apply the same attributes to grid line of all scales. So all grid line have been removed. Now it's looking good. Press the shift button, click here. All of them are selected. Then again click, and then again click. You can see only one of them will be left. Now right click, edit bars, then custom. After it, click here automatic. Instead of this, I say yellow color. Click OK and this graph become yellow. Now click on the rest of them and shift and then again double click once again click and you will get all of them as so you can see it here all of them are selected. Now again right click on it, edit bars, custom, background color, yellow, the no category become yellow color. Now, now I want to make the yes category green color. Select them all of them right click on it edit bars then custom in the color select here green color click ok so yes category become green now i want to know which category is yes or no so click here add item data labels in the data label use data label from here we have to then click here and now select c1 response that contain yes and no and then click OK. So how we can select this response? Either you can do double click on it or do a single click and then click on select and then click OK. So we got now the yes and no has been displayed on the graph. Each of the graph is showing that a lot of the respondents have selected no option and a very few respondents have selected yes. That was all about today. Click here OK and then this is the graph. Right click on it. Copy the graph and you can paste it here anywhere where you want. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.